We're going to assess the hop test. Remember when we were talking about Milgram et al's paper in 2021, we found a sensitivity for this test was 100%. So anyone who presented with a stress, tibial stress fracture on MRI imaging had a positive hop test. So I'm going to ask Harriet to balance on her right leg. So the medial shin symptoms are here. So we want to try and rule out a stress fracture. And I'm going to ask Harriet to jump up and down and I'm going to tell her when to stop. We're going to do this again, depends on how irritable they are. So I'm going to ask Harriet to jump up and down for me. Hopping, good, good. And I'm asking, are you getting any pain? Are you getting any symptoms? Okay, great, keep going. Good, and relax there. So often what you will see is you'll see a patient apprehensive about doing it. They might stop after they hop a couple of times because the pain is quite high. And But here, if they're able to hop for about 20 seconds up to 30 seconds without any symptoms in the shin, then if we, again, if we, if we refer back to that paper, it's good at ruling out a, a stress fracture.